Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. So I had a workout partner today. So our friends are in town. We're actually going on the cruise with them and their little guy, Mikey. So they came in last night. We hung out and chatted till all hours of the morning. And then we got up at 5.30 and did our workout. So we still got up early and still got our stuff done. Instagram's having a problem here, I think, because I turned the Wi-Fi off. So let's see if that worked. Oh, I think. Hmm, something happened with Instagram. Good morning, Mom. So let's go back live with them. Get them reconnected. There we go. Okay, Instagram, you're back. So we were up at all hours of the morning chit-chatting and then got up at 5.30 and did our workout. And uh, now I'm activating those superpowers because we have a lot of stuff to do today. So if you didn't check out a little bit of our workout moves, make sure you check out on my story because you will see some of the fun moves. Today was cardio. It was 16 minutes and we were both like, okay, we're going to have to add something to this because it's only 16 minutes. Hi, Jen. And uh, hey, Jules. It was only 16 minutes, but holy crap. <laughs> when we were done, it, I think there was like 100 burpees. And when we were done, we were both like, uh, yeah, we're done. We don't, <laughs> we don't need to add anything else. So workout is done. Superfoods and superpowers are being activated. And I just wanted to chat with you about this. I've been, got my brain's been like on overpower mode. Hi, Pamela, good morning. Um, with just thinking about all different things in life and thinking about like, the things that I let go last year and like how light my head feels not that I'm an airhead <laughs> just it just there's not so much worry in my mind um, because of that so I wanted to share with you something about and it might sound funny but stop using a band-aid for happiness and this is what I mean your band-aid is materialistic things like so many of us just don't feel complete. So many of us feel like that unhappiness and we're always like, oh, I'll, I'll be happy if I do this. I'll be happy if I buy this. I'll be happy if I get this car. I'll be happy if I go get this Louis Vuitton bag. I'll be happy if I get this. Now granted, material, there's nothing wrong with materialistic things. I have a nice car. I get my eyelashes done. I get my, thing, my nails done. I get my hair done. Like, I, I want a Louis Vuitton bag. It's right there on my dream board. Like there are, it's okay to want materialistic things, but it's not okay to make those materialistic things your happiness, what's gonna make you happy. That's what I call a band-aid on your happiness because you're not truly digging deep within your soul and you're not truly trying to figure out what's gonna make you happy. You're just thinking, oh, if I get this, if I have that, if I have this, if I have that, I'll be happy. No, that's just putting a band-aid because you're happy at first when you get the th when you get the things that you're looking for. So you have that initial happiness, that um, you know that moment where you have that initial satisfaction, but then that wears off. Good morning, Jessica. That wears off, and then you go back to feeling the same way you felt before, and it's like, oh, okay, that's not maybe that's not what needed to make me happy. And then you find another materialistic thing that you think is going to make you happy. And I'm here to tell you there aren't materialistic things that are going to keep you truly happy. They might be happy for the moment, but they're not going to keep you truly happy. You know, to me, a materialistic band-aid happiness is short-term. It's not long-term. What's going to make you long-term happy is going to be knowing who you are, knowing what you like, and just doing what you want, regardless of what anyone else says. You know, prime examples, something as simple as changing your hair color. Do you know how many people still to this day, I like you better with dark hair. Great, that's wonderful for you. I like me better with my light hair, which is my natural hair. I naturally have a dirty blonde hair, but I've always gone dark with it. So everybody thinks I naturally have dark hair. No, my hair's naturally light. But everybody's always telling me, even to this day, I have my friends, I like you better with dark hair. Okay. I'm doing what I want and what makes me happy. And that's where your true, true happiness lies. Hi, Harold, good morning. Um, that's where your true happiness lies when your heart feels full based on your actions. Your heart can't get full from materialistic things. Your heart can't get full from someone else's actions. I mean, yes, having someone that loves you by your side, that can make you feel complete. But that's not the type of full heart I'm talking about. I'm talking about that deep down, you know who you are, you're proud with who you are, you love who you are, 
And no one's going to change that. No purse, no car, no nails, no tattoos, whatever it may be. That's, that's not your happiness. That's just something you enjoy. Something that makes you who you are. That's not your happiness. So you need to make sure that you know the difference. So here's my call to action to you, which I believe I've given you guys this call to action before, but I want you to really think about who you are, what makes you happy, make a list, and then you know what? Start doing things off that list every single day. Every day. Start with yourself, just like that friggin' oxygen mask that comes down in an airplane. They tell you to take care of you first. That goes for regular life too. Take care of yourself first. That's not selfish to do that. It's smart. I have found that when I don't take care of me first and I didn't find, there were, I struggled for the longest time of even knowing who I was and what made me happy. Um, and so I was just always yelling at my kids and always bitchy and always just, just miserable. And, it's just, and it wasn't because of anything anybody else was doing and it wasn't because I didn't have things that I liked in my life or anything like that. It was simply because I didn't know who I was. So because I didn't know who I was, I didn't know what made me happy. So I just felt miserable because my heart wasn't full. I didn't feel that happiness. And that's where you have to get yourself. You have to know who you are and that could take time. And ways to find that out is just if you feel like doing something, go do it. If somebody invites you to do something different and it's something you always wanted to try, go. Try it. Learn who you are. Learn what you love. And then live life that way. Stop using other things as a band-aid for your happiness. You know, because, I mean, some people are just constantly buying materialistic things and thinking that's going to make them happy. And then when that temporary happiness wears off, they're getting another materialistic thing to make them happy because they don't know what really makes them happy. So stop not knowing. Go out there, figure out who you are, figure out what you love, and just live your life. We're still in the new year. It's only a few days in. You have time to figure out who you are, and you have time to be happy. So I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.